Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Terrence Bud Crawford claps back at Mikey Garcia's recent comments. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang please hit the bell icon shout out to the super chats channel donations venmo donations and the patreon family we working now i feel good i feel like i'm in my zone constantly dropping the hotness for you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe we working people we're working hard now i'm on terrence bud crawford his verified twitter account i did a video about this mikey garcia did an interview with Yahoo Sports' Kevin Ioli, and he was basically saying he prefers to fight Errol Spence Jr. to Terrence Crawford because he believes that Crawford would run, be doing a lot of running in the ring. Of course, he would try to cut off the ring on him, but nobody's trying to see that, basically. I'm paraphrasing. He said it would be dull, and it makes more sense. He likes that Errol Spence is there in front of you. He's going to come to fight. Meanwhile, Crawford would be trying to use his height and reach advantages, run, score points like he did in the amateurs. Now, I told you guys, I don't know what you guys think this dude is about. I met Crawford, I've been in his gym. The dude's a dog. He must have clearly heard about this, and you know he has something to say. Shout out to the 402. This is his response to Mikey Garcia. LOL, at Mikey Garcia, you funny. You say all I did was run from you when we fought. You got the tape when we fought. Put it out there so everybody can see how I ran upside your head. Hashtag facts. Wow. <laughs> Alright, y'all putting some funny shit. He, he getting his popcorn ready. So, he's saying put the tape out on some minister society. Why y'all keep bitching about my tape? He said, put the tape out. Then he follows up, at Mikey Garcia, after Jeff Horn, you can come get this work, and I bet you that you'll be doing the running. Why are y'all awake sleeping, Giants? I like Mikey Garcia. I like Terrence Crawford, but I told you, in my opinion, at 47 especially, I would favor Crawford. I think he would have the reach and height advantage. And, and one thing that Mikey did say that was telling to me in his interview was, he says... Crawford would be using his height and reach advantage, which could be dull and not pleasing for the fans, and I don't want that or something. And he said, so I would, of course, try to cut off the ring and make it a fight because that's the only chance I have. He literally said something like that. He said, because that would be the only chance that I have. So it sounds like he's already anticipating that Crawford can outbox him. You know what I mean? Listen, Mikey Garcia has been calling out big names. He just fought Sergey Lipinitz fourth weight division that he's uh, got a title in I would love to see Terrence Crawford versus Mikey Garcia and if he wants to fight Errol Spence I don't see those as being good uh, looks but at least Terrence Crawford the good thing with him he just came from 140 he hasn't even had a fight so by the time he fights Jeff Horn let's say he becomes champion then he'll he will have had only one fight at 147 so fight him before he gets more fights to acclimate because if you look at even when he moved from 35 to 140, Terrence Crawford, his first fight, if I'm not mistaken, at the full 140, um, when he stayed up there, I think he moved up maybe to fight Bradis Prescott, but I'm talking about when he moved up to, to stay up there, was Thomas DeLorme, and I had him losing some of the early rounds, and then he just, when, once he started picking his shots, and, and like it's like he was playing possum or something, and then he tore up Thomas DeLorme. But then he started getting better and better and better, as he stayed at 140. So I think the time is now. Mikey Garcia should try to fight Terrence Crawford before he acclimates, right? He says, I will be at 147. He might want to go to 135 or 140. You're calling out big names at 47. Let's see it. And according to Terrence Crawford, he's saying you have the tape. Play the tape. I would love to see that. And I actually, I'm not going to put anybody's name, but I talked to someone a while ago who was there during the amateurs, and they said Crawford beat him easy. That's all they told me. And they told me some other details, but I don't. I didn't ask him about running and all this extra stuff. So I would definitely like to see the tape for myself. And Mikey's—he's been doing some. I guess you could say trash talking. 
keeping other people's name in his mouth and now people are, are, are speaking out. So good options for Mikey Lomachenko. Robert Easter said he wants that work. Terrence Crawford saying he wants to work at 47. We'll see what Mikey Garcia decides. And it was weird because I just seen a recent video where Terrence Crawford was at the Jose Ramirez and Amir Mom fight. And he was talking to Mikey's brother, Peter, and they're, they're all cordial and, and chopping it up. And then right after that, I seen this interview with Mikey Garcia and he's basically calling Crawford a boring runner and stuff. Y'all got to stop doing that to the black fighters like Abel Sanchez and different people saying this guy's a runner. I, I've seen Crawford. I, I don't consider him a runner. Even I know the definition that they mean when they say the runner, like when different people are saying so-and-so ran. But I think Crawford really mixes it up. Sometimes he's aggressive. Sometimes he uses some lateral movement. Damn, Kevin Durant looked big. Pause. So... I'm definitely going to be tuned in to the, the fight with Jeff Horn. I haven't heard a date when it's actually been rescheduled for. But let me know what you guys think. Would you like to see Mikey Garcia, Terrence Crawford at 47 if he gets past Jeff Horn? I believe he gets past Jeff Horn, but we obviously got to see it. Smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think of Crawford's response. He claps back at Mikey Garcia. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off.